Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of New Egg TV. I'm Elric, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest AIO, or all-in-one coolers, from the people over at Cooler Master. Now I have it right here, this is the Sidon 120XL. This is an all-in-one cooler that's very easy to install. And if a lot of people out there don't know this, water cooling and liquid cooling is actually starting to dominate the market and knocking air cooling off of its spot. So with that said, let's jump in and let's see what comes in the box of this new Sidon product. So here we have the Sidon 120XL. You can see down below it's maintenance free since it's all in one. Designed for overclocking, ultra fine micro channel, two times the surface area. This is the copper that's actually covering your CPU. You can see right here it's a liquid CPU cooler and that's pretty much it. Here on the side of the box, you can see that the unit will work with any type of socket that's out there. Be it be AMD, Intel, it's there. Here are all the dimensions going all the way down. You guys all know it's using a 120 fan, so it's gonna be pretty easy to integrate in most systems. On the back, we have just a little bit more nomenclature showing you some specifics about the size of the unit, the size of its radiator. Like I said, this unit will fit in almost any system due to its size. Almost every system out there has a 120 millimeter fan in the back. So with that said, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. All right, folks, I'm gonna take a little trusty knife here. Not like the usual knives I work with, you guys know that, but hey, I've gotta be a little conservative. Let's go ahead and take this out. Go ahead and remove all that plastic packaging out there. Now you guys have been saying you want me to throw stuff at the cameraman. Well, this won't be very good, but I don't even think it'll reach the cameraman, will it? Nope, yeah, it's a dead missile. But anyways, all right, let's hop in. So find the pop top here. It's gonna have one around here somewhere. Up, oh, all righty then, here we go. It's down here at the bottom. A little flap. Let me set this up for you guys. I'll go ahead and pop the flap inside of the box. You can see that everything's completely well packaged. Starting off, we have the, the fans. So we have two 120 millimeter fans. These are also pretty thin. One's gonna go on one side, one's gonna go on the other side of the radiator. We'll go ahead and set those down. Bing, bing. Then we have all of the user's guides and installation stuff. Now, I know a lot of people out there are gonna say, oh, it's a water cooler. But I'm gonna be honest with you, liquid coolers of this type are so much easier to install than say the Silver Arrow. If you haven't ever done it before and you're nervous, don't be. This is actually so simple to install, it would blow your mind. Here you get the warranty. All the warranty information for the product. You guys all know, Cooler Master has a great warranty program, so they'll take care of you. So let's continue on. Here is all of the mounting equipment. Like I said previously, you guys, everything is in here so that you can mount this to whatever you want, whether it's AMD, Intel, socket 2011, AM3, thermal paste is included. You guys always ask that question. So the thermal paste is included. It's right there. So let's keep going on. And now we're gonna move on to the unit itself. Let me take that out of there, get the box out of the way. Now let's get the cameraman to come up and focus on the unit itself. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. You guys can see we have a single 120 millimeter radiator, PWM connection. Finally, I'm gonna flip it around. Here's the bottom of the block. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. You can see this is the surface area they were talking about. So it's gonna cover your CPU quite nicely. Take one just final look at this from another angle. You guys can see it here. These cables are semi-flexible. In the future, if the radiator runs out of water, here's the fill tube right here. So you just go ahead and remove this and then you fill it. All in all though, a complete all in wonder. This does not offer expandability. What you get is what you see, but for at least two to three years, you will not have any maintenance on this whatsoever. All right, everybody, so there you have it. Now, AIOs like this, like I said, are taking over the world. Don't be daunted by trying to install this. If you've been thinking about go ahead, pull the trigger and go ahead and try one of these. I guarantee you'll be very happy with the performance and how easy it is to install. I'm Elric, thanks for watching New Egg TV. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you show us you appreciate us, and if you're not subscribed, please do so so you don't miss out on any of the stuff that we do here on New Egg TV. See you later.